Okay, so today we're just talking about changing a bearing on a scarifier. A lot of times if the scarifier bearing is broken, this is how you'll replace it. You know, this happens usually when maybe you're overusing the blade. If you're grinding and going down more than a 16th of an inch, you have the chance of hitting a hard aggregate and that kind of like back feeding the actual drum, which is supposed to float on top of uh, the concrete when you're grinding and that might break your bearing. So if if the engine's starting and, if, and your drum's not spinning, this is the first place I would look. Just make sure that the bearing's not broken. We use pretty high quality NTN Japanese bearings, but you know, they can they can only take so much torque. So you don't want to over overdo it. So as you noticed, we first took the drum out before we replaced this bearing. So that's gonna be done with the 26 millimeter socket as seen earlier. And then you're gonna take your Allen wrench and we're just using kind of a, a larger socket wrench to get the leverage. So you're just taking your four Allen wrench screws or bolts out so you get access to the bearing. So now it just came loose, we're almost there. So usually this is the bearing that's broken. So you can kind of see right there, there's a little felt washer over it. And then if this bearing was broken, you're gonna to have to pop it out. It's broken, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be too nice to it, it's just a hole. Um, so in this case, you can take like a, a hammer or a screwdriver, or chisel. You can just wanna pop that, that bearing out. So we just took two pieces of two by four. Just hammering out that, that bearing nice and slow. Okay, so now the bearing's out and we're gonna put the new one in. So if this, if it wasn't spinning, you just have to take the nice new NTN bearing, we'll pop it back in place. Just be nice with it, it's new. Just gonna kinda of tap that into place, try not to damage it. That's it. And we'll put the felt washer over it again, and we're gonna fasten it back into place with those Allen wrench screws next. So once again, if you're if the drum is not moving on the Tomahawk Scarifier, but the engine's starting and everything else seems to be working, a lot of times it is this bearing, this front bearing that is broken and that's just from a little too much torque. So you'll take your little Allen wrench, you'll tighten it up. Shouldn't be more than that, a 20 minute job. But it's not an expensive fix, it's quick. You'll be able to repair it and get back up and running and grinding down some curbs or trip hazards or whatever you got going on. So once it's fastened, you'll wanna put the drum in again and make sure it spins all nice and evenly. You don't wanna, you wanna make sure it's level and, and spinning nice and then you should be able to start it and test it out. So that's it. So if Scarfire drum's not working, this is how you change the bearing. Thanks for watching.